Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make homemade peanut butter cups. You're going to need some milk chocolate, some peanut butter, and some muffin liners. I use the mini ones and you'll get about 25 out of this. You're going to want a double boiler or like a mocked up double boiler to melt your chocolate chips. Once that's all melted to like a consistency that you can spoon it out, I shut it off but leave it on the boiler so it stays warm. And then I go through and I do about a spoonful into the bottom of each muffin cup. Once those are all done, I melt the peanut butter, microwave 30 second intervals until you can pour it. Pour a little bit in each cup. Then you're going to want to put that in the fridge because you want the peanut butter to set before you go on and add the top of the chocolate. How much you use for each really depends on what you like for your chocolate to peanut butter ratio, but just remember you need to leave space to put chocolate in the top again. You might have to reheat your chocolate depending on how long it sat between. This is good enough for me. And then you're just gonna kind of spread it on the top. You can leave it in a swirly pattern like this, but if you don't like the swirly pattern, if you tap the tray on the counter a few times, that will even that out. And then again, you're gonna pop the whole thing into the fridge or freezer until it sets. Now, normally when I make these, I just do the three distinct layers. If you want them to look more like a Reese's peanut butter cup, you can do chocolate all the way up the sides, but it one <laughs> takes longer to do that. And then it also like fans the cup out. This is the one with just the normal layers. So super easy, you know, the taste is the same and they really look fine. But if you want the chocolate up the sides, it takes a little longer. The shape gets a little bit wonky like that and it's a lot harder to peel because the liners want to stick to the chocolate on the whole side so you know the taste is great at the end but personally I would just do three layers let me know if you try this